Okay, so we are still on the factorization of polynomials and now we are going to prove a very nice theorem. Um, over the rationals implies over the integers. Let f of x be a polynomial in the ring of integers. If f of x is reducible over the rationals, then it is reducible over the integers. Okay, we are going to get directly into the proof. Of course, I'm going to use concepts from the previous video, like the concept of uh, content and primitive. Okay, let us begin by assuming that f of x is um, we can factor f of x into g of x times h of x, where g of x and h of x is in the ring of the rationals. Okay, it's obvious that we can assume that f of x is primitive, right? Uh, because we could uh, divide um, we could divide f of x and g of x times h of x by the content of f of x, okay? You get the content of f of x, divide both, and of course, f of x will become primitive, okay? Okay, let us take a, and a is the least common multiple uh, of the denominators of the coefficients of gx okay so we will get a couple of uh, we get the, the coefficients here okay and we take a we take the least common multiple of those coefficients and we get a okay so of the the, the well the the denominators Okay, the denominators of the coefficients of gx. Okay, and b. Uh, so there will be a coefficient here with a denominator. Okay, and here too. Okay, so we take the least common multiple here too, and we get b. Okay, so. Uh, if this happens, it's obvious that AB times F of X equals A of GX times B of HX, right? Yes, if you divide both, you get this, right? Of course, A of GX and B of HX are both and the ring of, of integer. Okay, now we are going to pick a C1. And what is this C1? C1 is going to be the content of A times GX. And we are going to take a C2, where C2 is the content of B of HX. Okay. So A of GX will be equal to C1 G1X, right? Because C1 is the content. And B of HX will be equal to C2 of H1X. Okay, of course that both G1X, this new polynomial, so to speak, and H1X <coughs> they are both primitive okay they are primitive and it's obvious that a b f of x is going to be c1 times c2 g1 of x times h1 of x okay so a b f of x will be c1 times c2 g1 of x times h1 of x, and since f of x is primitive, my question is, 
what will the content um, what will the content of a b f x will be of course it has to be the content since since f of x is primitive it has to be a b okay well more or less in the same way you can see that the product well point number one the 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 product of two primitives the product of two primitive polynomials is primitive so the content of c1 times c2 g1 of x times h1 of x what will the content be the content will be it's like here right the content will be c1 times c2 okay so since this is true um, since this is true AB will be equal this AB here will be equal to C1 times C2 right and F of X will be equal to the G1 times h1 x right uh, but of course with g1 of x and h1 of x in the ring of integers okay and that concludes the the theorem concludes the proof right so um, if f of x is in the ring of the integers and if f of x is reducible over the rationals we just proved that, that then it is reducible over the integers too.